Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any Watchbox watch. My email is in the description below. Email me for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2021 special series from Blancpain. This is not explicitly a limited edition, but it will be limited in production. It is the Blancpain Air Command Flyback Chronograph, a sequel to the Black Dial 500-piece limited edition from 2019. It's the second of the modern takes on Blancpain's 1950s-era Air Command Flyback Chronograph, a military aviation special that ranks as one of the rarest and most collectible Blancpain watches of all time. While it was revived years ago as part of the 50 Fathoms family, in truth, it was never a dive watch back in period, and this watch is a more accurate approximation of what a modern air command would be. So, in titanium, which they call 2-3 titanium, we have a 42.5 millimeter diameter case that is 14 millimeters thick. It is 51.4 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with nice broad modern 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. You get a sense of how it fits. It's comfortable. It's very light, though it is broad. You can see it's pushing right out to the edge of my wrist. I believe that even as light as it is, in order to avoid lug overlap, you're going to need a wrist of 16 centimeters circumference or larger to wear this watch, because you can see I'm pushing the limits. I'm right on the limits there. That said, it's surprisingly thin, though the outcropping of the bezel could cause it to get hung up on the tightest of sleeves. Now, the strap is a nice piece. Aviation style. It's calfskin with a contrasting stitch. It has some bolstering to give it thickness. It has a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather. You can see on the bottom it has a rubber inlay which makes it wonderfully supple against the skin. It's a brand new Blanc Pen factory strap, uh, but also it helps the strap to last longer as it separates the leather from the moisture, sweat, grit, and grime of the wrist. Now we have a double folding clasp here. You can see twin trigger release. I press the two triggers. The first part opens. The second part opens double fold, which I always find is less likely to pinch a small wrist than a single fold. And there are alternately polished and satinated facets. It's Blanc Pen branded. And the reason that you want a folding clasp is to avoid dropping the watch while donning it or removing it day and night. Now, the mid-case is thin, vertical, and longitudinally satinated, just like a vintage watch. Also like a vintage watch, the lugs are squared off on their end, and the beveling is minimal, though it is polished. Blancpain calls this Titanium 2-3, and they want to hammer it home by putting it underneath the lug, but it strikes me as some variety of grade 5, because in order to be polished, it has to be grade 5. Now, this is a little confusing, because uh, three two is often a term used for grade two titanium. Well, six four, six percent aluminum, four percent vanadium. That's what that means. Uh, is often another term for grade five titanium. So this isn't three two. It's two three, but it has the characteristics of grade five. So just think of it as grade five, hypoallergenic, lighter than steel, but also harder and more scratch resistant. We have a set of chronograph pushers that are polished outboard and then satinated on their sides. We have a crown that is a push down crown. It's nice and large in vintage fashion. The watch is 30 meters water resistant, so it's definitely not part of the 50 Fathoms family, though it does have plenty of luminescence as it is very much a sports watch. It's just, it's a aviator sports watch and a land sports watch. Now what I love here is that we have a bi-directional aviator style timing bezel that's calibrated all the way around. So it's very easy to read it against the minute hand. It allows you to have a chronograph timed interval and also a bezel timed interval coincident. They will be timing at the same time. Also, you can see that the bezel insert is made of ceramic, so very scratch resistant. The dial is a metallic blue sunburst with a radial grain. We have sunken sub-registers, each with a concentric texture. The hands are a modified syringe, so baton giving way to syringe-style tips. We have a luminescent chronograph seconds hand, which I love some vintage elements, including the fonts used, such as the Open 6. We have a tachymeter scale that can be used with the chronograph to gauge the speed of, for example, a car over a kilometer or even an aircraft over a kilometer at the Reno Air Races because this is an aviation chronograph. We have a sub-register for the minutes that includes little marks for, you can see it's a semi-instantaneous jump, but we have little marks for three, six, and nine minutes because in the middle of the 20th century, back when the original Air Command came out, long-distance telephone calls were billed in three-minute increments and they were very expensive. Flipping it all over, we have 
a wonderful movement that originally debuted in the 2014 Blancpain Bathyscaph flyback chronograph. This is the 388, and it is automatic winding with a 50-hour power reserve and an El Primero-like 36,000 vibration per hour beat rate. So it has a high beat rate and has a smoother sweeping seconds hand and a faster beat when held against the ear. It has a stop seconds or hacking function. It's also a flyback, which means you can reset and restart without first having to stop, allowing you to easily time things that occur in rapid succession. Now, it has a column wheel and a vertical clutch, so you can see the column wheel in action. That's a traditional way to build a high-end chrono. It makes for crisp action, and it sounds as good as it feels. The vertical clutch allows the system to engage without jump or stagger. It always ensures that the chronograph resets precisely to the index. Vertical clutch also means you can leave your chronograph running full-time if you prefer. There will be no no additional wear and tear. Now you can see this caliber F388B, 385 is the version with the date. You can see that it is adjusted in six positions, which is exquisite because that's one more than the standard for a chronometer. It pivots on 35 joules and it's quite robust. It features a dual anchored balance bridge with two screw mounting points for shock tolerance and a free sprung balance for the same reason. It also makes the watch easier to adjust precisely as all of the adjustments are done using variable inertia bolts on the balance. It also uses a silicon anti-magnetic hairspring. Now you'll note that all of the bridges feature a sort of spiral deep graining across their surfaces, which I love. It's a lot more contemporary in style than Cote de Genève for a watch like this. You can see that there are beautiful mile-wide mirrored bevels, and while they're probably started mechanically, the finishing is so bright and rounded that I can guarantee you quite a bit of hand finishing goes into completing those bevels. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. The rotor is skeletonized to block less of your view of the movement. You can see that the column wheel as well as the crown wheel core below it black polished. We have uh, some engine turning on the base plate. You can see a little bit of that adjacent to my finger. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference and the wheels are satinated. It's a beautiful movement that exhausts superlatives and it gives you great value even at this price point. It's also a rare and defining watch. If you're going to buy a Blanc Pen sports watch, you want a 50 Fathoms or you want an Air Command. And if you want an Air Command, you want the titanium version. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.